The Big Honey Hunt by uh, Stan and Jan Berenstein. It's another Berenstein Bear story. We ate our honey. We ate a lot. Now we have no honey in our honey pot. Get, go get some honey. Go get some more. Go get some honey from the honey store. We will go for honey. Come on, small bear. We will go for honey. And I know where. The store, she said, to get it there. Not at the store. Oh, no, small bear. If a bear is smart, if a bear knows how, he goes on a honey hunt. Watch me now. How do you hunt it? How, Dad? How? If a bear knows how, if a bear is smart, he looks for a bee right at the start. Bees hide their honey in trees that are hollow, so we will find a bee to follow. Is that a bee? He went buzz buzz. He looks like a bee. Why, yes, he does. We will follow that bee. We will follow that bee. We will follow that bee to this honey tree. <laughs> that tree? Is that a honey tree? It looks like one, so I know it's one. Sit down, small bear, and watch the fun. Small bear, you watch your smart old dad take out more honey than you ever had. <laughs> Are you getting honey? Are you getting a lot? Will we take home honey in our honey pot? That is not a honey bee. That is not a honey tree. The bee, the bee, there goes the bee. On with the honey hunt. Follow your pop. Your pop will find honey at the very next stop. We will follow and follow and follow along. I will find a new tree and I won't be wrong. Is that a honey tree? How do you know? Well, it looks just so and it feels just so. Looks so, feels so, so it's so. Now watch, small bear. I am about to take that good old honey out. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you getting a lot? Are you getting much honey? Or are you not? <sighs> wrong kind of tree! Wrong kind of tree! Look, Dad! There goes your friend the bee! On with the hunt, I will not rest. I will follow that bee to his honey nest. When a bear is smart, when a bear is clever, he never gives up, and I won't ever! Dad, is that a bee tree there? What do you think? Is it a bee tree? I know it is. Why, yes, small bear, it can't be wrong like the last tree was. Uh, only a bee tree goes buzz buzz. <laughs> Are you getting honey? Are you doing well? Or is something wrong? I smell a smell. Uh -oh. <laughs> wrong kind of tree, wrong kind of tree. The bee, the bee, I see the bee. If you want to get honey, there is just one way. You must follow your bee if it takes all day. If a bear is smart, if a bear is bright, a bear keeps going if it takes all night. <laughs> he went in there, your friend the bee, he went in there. Is this our tree? Got this one. Now let me think, now let me see, this looks just like a honey tree, and it feels just like a honey tree. And it goes buzz buzz like a honey tree. And it tastes just like a honey tree. And so you see, this tree must be, must, must, must be a honey tree. Thank <laughs> you.
I never saw more honey, never. Now, don't you think your dad is clever? I think you are very clever, dad, but your friends, the bees, are very mad. But dad, you left the honey there. It was not the kind I want, small bear. I will get you honey. I said I would, but that bee's honey was not too good. You think it really was the honey that had the problem, huh? Where are you going? To find the honey here in the water? Now that seems funny. No, we won't find honey in here, small bear, but soon, very soon, I will show you where. When the bees have gone, we will get along, too. Your dad is smart, and he knows what to do. But how will you do it, Dad? How, Dad, how? The best sort of honey never comes from bees. It comes from a store. I would like some, please. And he brought home the honey. You know what I like about this story? They show grit. They never give up. And I know how sometimes, you know, you've been doing this homeschooling for so long and you're just tired. But don't give up. Show grit and you'll be able to make it to the end. Miss you all.